Gun violence survivors and educators are asking lawmakers to stop a bill that would allow gun carry in Alabama without a permit. The bill was scheduled to go before the Senate Judiciary Committee today. CBS 42 News reporter James McConathan in Montgomery in our State Capitol Bureau with more. Volunteers with the group Moms Demand Action went door to door speaking to lawmakers in the State House and telling their stories of survival. There's many reasons that I got involved with Moms Demand Action. Dana Ellis said when she was eight years old, a 14 year old who lived nearby fired a gun at her. His parents had left a loaded 410 shotgun available to this child who shot at my brother and I. Ellis got pellets in her neck, hand, and leg. If she had been closer, it could have been much worse. Every other day, a child in this country is injured unintentionally. They find a weapon that their parents have left not properly secured. Harriet Huggins said the group members support the Second Amendment. They just want to see guns stay out of the hands that shouldn't be holding them. Applying for a permit means that you have to go through a background check and the, they can make a decision about whether or not this person has a history or uh, doesn't need to have a gun. But some supporters of the bill believe the permitting process is unreasonable. We already don't have to have a permit to open carry in this state. I can put my 1911 on my hip and walk into Walmart and it's no problem and I don't have to have a permit. But to enter my car or to put on a coat, I have to. And that doesn't make sense. The Senate Judiciary Committee adjourned before the bill came up today. The committee is now expected to hear the bill next week. In Montgomery, James McConathan, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.